Nice to have vlogging setups or setups like them are great. They're versatile, they're durable, except of course if you're Casey Nice at himself, and they always get you great quality. On the other hand, unfortunately though, they're usually also pretty expensive and pretty heavy. So here's what you can do if you want to vlog like Casey with your iPhone 7 and only one measly little lightning connector at your service. <music> Autofocus, of course, is of high importance. One of the very best video autofocus systems he ever used out of any of his setups was the Canon Dual Pixel Autofocus in his 70D, 80D setups back in the day. So this is a comparison between the iPhone 7's video autofocus system and the Dual Pixel Autofocus in my Canon EOS M6, which among the devices I currently have access to in regards to autofocus is the one most closely relatable to his 70D, 80D setups. And as you can see in this wide-angle comparison, autofocus speed is approximately the same, but exposure compensation is a slower, yet much, much smoother deal with the EOS M6, whereas the iPhone 7 has a more staccato way of compensating the exposure that lets you make out the individual steps. Overall, the iPhone 7's video autofocus is a very good performer, it's relatively quick, face recognition works well, and so far it's been very reliable. Viewing angle of the rear camera, decent, if you're about selfie distance or further away from it for most occasions. You want to log like nice that though, you definitely want to go super wide angle. And going from regular... <sighs> Two, super wide is accomplished almost instantly given the right lens cover lens combination. Two piece revolving lens cover case and a wide angle from Anchor. Now zooming in while shooting, definitely one of the aesthetics most attributed to Nyset and his vlogs. Technically there's no real substitution for doing this on a smartphone but there's something we can do and that is switching back to the rear camera. Technically, it's not the same, but visually it has the same end result as a zoom-in. Also, you are referencing the tech that you're using while using it, which is something traditional cinematography actually avoids at all costs, but it is totally game when vlogging. So in that sense, it's actually a pretty good substitution for his zoom-ins. Now something else that Nice said really likes to do to enhance the narrative quality of his vlogs is framing himself in a shot and pointing at stuff. Of course, using the rear camera, you couldn't pull this off, but the iPhone 7 actually comes with a pretty decent front camera that lets you shoot full HD 1080p video. And if you're using a decent clip on wide-angle lens for these situations it's actually pretty comfortable to frame yourself in a shot and point at stuff. Now when it comes to audio quality all of his A setups always featured external audio. If you're using the internal mics only you're not protected against the sorted audio and you kind of gather a surround profile of the ambience which is not what you want when vlogging. What you want when vlogging is external wind protected directional audio like you're getting right now from this custom audio hack built around the Rode VideoMic ME and of course featuring the excellent Rode Puffin for wind protection. Now putting this custom external audio hack together is kind of complicated so I've linked the video up here dealing exclusively with how to do this right. Now battery life on average gets me around about two hours. Then again, I bought this phone as a used deal. Probably the battery isn't what it used to be either. Then again, even if it gave you twice that, it surely wouldn't be enough for a full day of vlogging. So it's simple. If you want to vlog like Nice said, you want to be able to charge it while you use it because, thank you Apple, you cannot change the battery. But what you can do is use the right power bank. Thin credit card sized power bank that comes with its own micro USB lightning adapter. 3M dual lock, low profile version on the back. Same on the case, cut right here, so this still opens. Power bank goes onto the phone like this. Lightning extension cable, plug it in, done. Time lapses are of course prominently featured in his vlogs and given the ability to extend on battery life through power banks are no longer a problem. You can go old school just letting the camera roll but I would recommend to use the dedicated time lapse mode within the standard camera app of the iPhone because it's gonna save you a lot of SD card space and you're gonna get away with a less powerful computer at home playing this back in your editing software. So if you liked the video please make sure to leave a thumbs up it'd be greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Also, should you feel like supporting the channel, definitely check out the video description. There might be some product links that are interesting for you. In any case, as always, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.